when you musky fish, you know that you cast and cast and cast until you get the perfect fish. There's a fish of 10,000 casts. They are the fish of 10,000 casts. And when you screw up your fish of 10,000 casts, it haunts you. Yep. And unfortunately, I had that happen a few weeks ago at Tamarack this summer, and it's just been eating at me. It has. You haven't barely slept at all. <laughs> right. It's been horrible. I don't know if it's been that I long, haven't gotten but... to sleep because of her. <laughs> but we're going back. I need a redemption fish. That's right. I lost a 50 plus fish, boat side. It was a heartbreaker. And I want my chance to get another one. That's right. So we called up Todd. We did. And what did Todd say? Come on over. We got piles of them. <laughs> Todd said, yeah, we can squeeze you guys in for a few days. Yep. So we're going to do it. And we're going to see how this week goes. Uh, last time at Tamarack, Tyler had an epic week. I caught a lot of fish. And it's tough not to catch a lot of fish there. I don't know what it you're is. Talking about. I, yeah, I, I struggled a little <laughs> bit, and then I. You caught a nice one at the end. And then I blew it, and then I, I did catch a nice yeah, one. You did. Um, but the one that's eating at me is the one that got away. But we're going back. Redemption at Tamarack. Sarah's all she's all excited, and nervous. I, all um, the emotions are running through her. I'm picturing this fish like I'm just replaying it all in my head. It so. looked, it's looking right at you. I remember when it <laughs> shook the hook. It was terrible. <laughs> Everybody, stay tuned. We'll be right back from Tamarack Island at another shot at some huge muskies. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Coleman Insect Repellents. Return to Tamarack is about to take place. I hope you guys are ready. We are super excited. Tyler and I uh, were here about a month ago. I have a big fish that has been haunting me. Um, I'm hoping to redeem myself. So we're gonna be targeting big fish areas. We're gonna fish a lot of water that's adjacent to deep water, hopefully. Uh, Tyler's in the back of the boat, rattling around in his, his uh, lure box, trying to figure out what he's gonna use. Lots of options. We know what he's gonna use, but he's back there figuring it out. Maybe he sharpened my hooks a little bit, but uh, so we got a uh, easterly wind. The weather's about to change this afternoon. Uh, our app says really good efficiency for fish. So we are out here with the agenda of big fish in the boat. Stay tuned. Is it big? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna spot lock. Keep that rod tip up, hon. He's right where he's supposed to be. It's not huge, but that's okay. What's that? I need it in the boat. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice pike. That's a dandy northerner. Good job. Oh, I needed him in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a big fish. Oh. Long pike. It's a good way to start us off, It's huh? feeling better. That's feeling better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've right. been waiting hard to get up here. Yes, I have. I got to catch some more fish. I got to get fish in the boat. That's right. What, a good starter fish. I need the pliers. Tamarack's got big pike, too. Yeah. Out here. That might be a 40 incher, huh? You think so? We're going to have to put a tape on him. Okay, you ready? Let's see, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Pull him up here. Oh, he's long. He's long, yeah. yeah he's long. That's a nice bonus right yeah, there. Yeah, look at Pretty that. Pretty tease. All right, now I nice see work. myself getting Take a look at that. Catch and release, folks. Does it work? Yeah. Gill hanging out. All right. And he's still good. Come on, fish. Nice. Spot lock's on. That fish came out hard. Nice fish, on. How's he doing, good? 
You're kind of feeling it now a little bit, huh? I don't know. I'm. Oh, he just soaked me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's off. It's a nice ski. Came right up both sides and <laughs> inhaled it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I am That's soaking wet. That's what it's all about, hon. You kind of feel it there. It's two Oh, rows. that feels good. That feels good. That's what it's all about. Not the huge one, but you know what? Fish in the boat. Fish I love in the this. boat. <laughs> Bucktails rock still. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. We got around, get a little breeze in our face, and all of a sudden there he was. And he inhaled it. Should that was cool. Should we take a look at her? Yeah, let's take a look. 40. Get those net out of his teeth. Once they're in there, it's in there. Here you go, pull that thing out of there. Ready? Yep. I don't, can you move that bag? Thanks. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go. Chunky one. Yeah. <laughs> Still feels good, no matter nice. what. No, every muskie's a good muskie. Yes, it is. I'm so glad to be back here. This yeah. is a blast. Yeah, all right, big one's coming though, Big right? one's yeah. coming, right. right. Boat side strike. Yeah, he came up. <laughs> Just inhaled it and watched the whole thing. His mouth looked absolutely gargantuan. It, it looked like a 50 for a second. Our second spot here, which we don't know we're going to fish yet, probably not on an island, but spot one was a cool little double island complex here with a big sand flat in the middle and that fish that Sarah had was right on the top with the wind hitting it. So we're going to probably fish a lot of wind blown stuff and that was rocks. But you can see we fished the whole parameter of that and we moved the one fish there. So that's what we're going to keep doing, but windblown rocks. So that's kind of a start to our puzzle here. You got it. Is this it, hon? I don't know. I... How's your drag? I don't know. Do you feel big? Yeah, it feels big. It's Is a big it... fish. Everything's working good? So far. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Oh my goodness. This is it, hon. This is big it. Big fish. This is it. This is it. If he can't pull drag. Okay, just don't let him do anything. Thumb it then. You're doing great. There you go. Just do it. Do what comes natural. There you go. Come back here. Move around, maybe. I gotta watch this boat. We're in shallow water. Yep. Keep just keep pressure on that. Okay. Stay on. Shit. It's a big fish. Keep that line tight. I gotta watch the stupid rocks here. That's a huge fish. Keep that, Sarah. Keep that line tight. I am. I am. I am. He's under the boat. Go the other way if you have to. Oh just no. Off. That was her. Dang it. It wasn't, it was tight, it wasn't, there was nothing. It's not like it slipped and I lost grip or it just came out. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. So Sarah and I did some soul searching last night about kind of what just transpired. And to say that we didn't sleep very well is an understatement. You keep running over when you have a big fish like that in your mind. Like, what could you have done what different? Could you have done different? Mm -hmm. Could you have what done better? Wrong? You know, maybe Tyler should have had it on. Those things. 
Well, maybe if you would have had it on, we would have voted it. No. That one yesterday was, that just happens. Hooks come out. Yeah, it's such an upsetting though. But to have two big fish and opportunities a month ago and then yesterday hurts. Anybody who spends a lot of time musky fishing knows that you can't catch them all. But when you have an opportunity at big fish, you gotta make the most of it. So we're a little down in the dumps this morning. Thanks for making me feel even better right now. I'm sorry. But I did get you a present. Oh, um, okay. Look sharper. So I want you to go on your, all your baits wow. and your cast and just sharpen them, <laughs> just, you know, tighten them up a little bit. Oh. Sharpen them up. But I think that'll help you. Is it okay to punch you on the no, camera? No, it's not. That, that's the family <laughs> program. But we're going to go get Oh wow, nice fish. Big that's pike, a big, big it's pike. A big pike, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big pike. Spot lock's on. Net's all tangled. Of course it is. Where's he at? Right here, he's both side. Oh wow, that's a dandy. That's the old scoop. Oh! That's a huge pike. That's long. Holy cow. Did that thing hit? <sighs> I thought that was a big musky, honey. I don't know what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big pike. That yeah. northern right there is 40. He was pulling that out might drag. Be a 44 incher right there. That's a big northern. Yeah. Holy cow. Jesus. Good job, honey. Nicely done. Hold that thing up there. That is a big ready? gator, yeah. We're ready, are you? Yeah. <laughs> that is a big fish. That that fish is mid 40s. Whew. Nice work, honey. Should I lay him on the bump board? That is a beautiful We're ready northern. for him? Yeah. Okay. 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 We get it back but, in there. Uh, yeah, you got to get my stuff out of the way here. We just got some pictures of her. That Can is you a, help me? Yep. Heck of a fish. Perfect. Oh, she's ready to go. That's good. That is a nice. She can't be ready fish. yet, right? Hold her there. I'll get a couple snap, snap some shots on. Hey, congratulations, sweetie. Thank you. And and that other boat was actually here every time we came. We came here, remember? Because we were fishing. I just hit myself in the hat. We were fishing like over there and they came in and fished like right on this point. And then the next time they were down there on that point. Oh, I got fish. Big fish? What? Fish, fish, fish. I got him. You got it. This is not good. I got to do something about this boat hunt. I'm trying. There's nothing I can do when it's... I know, I know, I know. It's just there's so much stuff in the boat right now. It's okay. Jeez. Nice fish. It's okay. Utter chaos. This is what we're looking for though. That fish is hot. Two foot here. Here. Yes! <gasps> nice job! What happened? <laughs> One point. <laughs> I was digging in my box. I was digging in my box for a bucktail and all of a sudden it's fish. I got him in the figure eight. Nice job! Believe, my bad, I just ensued. That is a dandy fish. We got the bucktail out of there. I think I'm switching bucktails. I'm going eights. You're catching all the fish. That is a look at the head on that fish. Holy cow! Yes. What a beast! Look at that. Are you happy or what? Yeah. That's a little redemption. I earned that one. A little Tamarack Figure redemption. Eight. What a fish. Figure Look at the thickness hit. on that. Oh boy. Beautiful. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's get her back in there. Okay. Yeah, I want to talk what? real quick about bucktails. That fish wanted it big time. I just got this one on. Uh, a lot of guys throw bucktails for muskies because they work, plain and simple. And I've been throwing for the first day and a half, tens. Sarah's been throwing eights. Yeah. And I just put this one on. This is a Wolf Creek. Tackle. Same, same color blades. Same color blades. It's been bronze and gold for us, but I've been throwing just a bigger size bait, and yeah. Sarah gets about two casts to my one with the eights. So you can just bring it in quicker. 
So you kind of have to go with the theory, do you want bigger bait for bigger fish or do you want more bites at the apple, which is Sarah's doing more casts. She's catching fish. So she's getting two to my one on cast. And I had the big dog on. So. And you had the big dog on. So we on. know the big dogs are hitting. And they're eating, they're eating eights. Yeah. So I'm going with an eight. I broke down. <laughs> but this is perfect. It's got this a little more bronze in the skirt, which will be perfect. But that bronze chartreuse blade combo. Yeah. And this is the Wolf Creek Classic. And I'm going to go, they're eating rock bass up here shallow. They're eating walleyes. They're eating smallies. Yeah. So anything that's gold, bronze, rusty color. It gives them just that flash enough that they're like, oh, yep, looks good. Exactly, and yeah. And that's the thing about bucktail. That's why bucktails are so efficient, now that you mention that. It's more of a trigger response. Like, there's something, I have to eat it because it's gone. They don't have time to really think about it, to investigate it, whatever. They see it, they want to eat it, they don't want to eat it. That's what's nice about a bucktail. Cover water, catches a ton of fish. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously so proud of you, but there's a tad bit of me that's jealous. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know how good this is gonna be. Do you got a spot lock or do you yeah, want me to I hit it? I just did it. Okay. I don't know what's getting caught on everything. He's not hooked the best. Okay. I don't got a lot of room here. Came right next boat side and whacked it. Yeah, it was like did. monster head shape. It was like. <laughs> under the water, it was cool. It last, that was like a second I saw the fish and he hit. Nice! Take a look here. Oh, that is a, fat a one. stout fish. Yeah, it is. We're running out of room here. Pretty. Both sides strike on the board today. You did it! Yay! What's a 40 incher? Yeah. Maybe a tad above. You want a picture? No, we'll get back in there. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's decent. Oh my god, you got him. Got him. We're just gonna let us drift. It's a nice fish, huh? It's a really nice fish. God, that was awesome. Come around, you're doing great. Come back. I'm a spot lock. Yep, don't worry about the rod. Here he comes, here he comes. I'm going back down. Here he comes, friend. We've got all sorts of problems here. It's all right, it's all right. And that was debacled. It's all right, he's right here. Dang it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's coming back up. This is part of it. Oh my what god, that fish battle. is pulling drag. Come back on this. Right there. Okay. Swing ready? it toward me. Yes! Get in there, buddy! <laughs> Good job, Sarah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Figure eight fish again, hon. <laughs> yes! Right at the bewitching hour. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I hurt my wrist. <laughs> you hurt your wrist on the hook set or what? No, I don't know why. Oh my gosh, I'm so shaking on. for that one. That was epic. That was. And we got something under the boat. I right had now. all sorts of debacles back here. Right. Net got tangled up in something. <laughs> we got him in the net. That's oh all my that goodness. Matters. I'm so proud of you, babe. Oh. Yes. Whoa. That's a nice Whoa. fish. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh, what boy. a way to end her, I think, that, huh? That fish is mad. Oh, oh he's goodness. off. He's off. Careful. Yeah. Oh, I think he rehooked himself. That's all right. No, I think she's good. Sweet, hon. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let's get a look at her. That is an awesome fish, Sarah. What a way to end a pretty epic trip. Some highs and lows oh as usual. Yep. We had another giant one, but you know what? You're ending it on maybe a bigger fish. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. Holy cow, oh, Sarah. Yes. Look at that fish, it's unbelievable. That is heavy. Is that not beautiful? Oh. That's a thing of beauty, baby. Yeah, okay, you're gonna take yeah. a picture? we'll get a picture. Okay. Everybody, we hope you enjoyed it. We had a blast of Tamarack. Until next week, Come, thanks yeah. for watching the Sportsman's <laughs> Journal. We'll see you again. Good job, hon. Thanks. For more information on some of the best musky fishing on Lake of the Woods, check out TamarackIslandWildernessLodge.com. Long name, amazing fishing. Northland is proud to introduce a radical new design in crankbaits. Welcome the Rumble Bug. Its snack size profile is something fish can't resist. Walleyes, bass, and big panfish all rush in to grab the new Rumble Bug. It comes in 15 exciting new colors with a balsa body, through wire construction, and casts like a bullet. Runs true on the troll and is perfect for lead. Coat. All over, anglers are singing the praises of the new Northland Rumble Bug.